Hello guys, I'm back with another review. This review is about the media build. This build is kind of heavy. It's not ideal for a fire stick. So um, keep that in mind. So let me jump right into it and show you. Here we have our library, movies, shows, Disney, ESPN, live, music, your apps, which takes you to your um your add-ons, your program add-ons, video add-ons or music add-ons, and your picture add-ons. We have system, your power button, and we're back to library. Now just like all the other builds, this build is you know easy to navigate, trying to make it easy as possible. And um yeah let me show you. So um Jump right into the library. And if you've seen all my other builds, you already know this is my go-to add-on. To get your content faster, to populate your library your, for your movies and your TV shows. So I use this add-on a lot. Now since I'm in here, I'm going to show you once again how to... Um, add your movies and your TV shows to your library, even as a box set. So, um, I'll go down here. As you see, there's part one and part two. I hit the context. I already have it. Let me look for another movie. Um, let me see, 300. Alright, you could play it straight from here. Also, let me see. Okay, we don't have this. So I'm going to add part one to the library of the movie 300. Then I'm going to add part two. Okay, so everything is set up for you to add your movies. So if you want to switch to the TV shows, you slide to the left. And now you can just add your show the same way. You can even add it from here. You can add it to the library. Or if you run across a TV show you don't want no more, you see you have that little star on the top left. You can click on it and you can remove it from library. All right. So in the submenu we have movies, TV shows, movie sets, and um, TV show next aired. That's our TV guide for the shows that you have in your library. So let's go into movie sets. So we've downloaded the movie 300. You go in there. So you'll see part one and part two. So this is your movie sets, your box sets. All right, and whatever TV shows you add to your library will be right here. If you want to remove a TV show, hit the context button to bring up your menu. Go to manage. We'll remove from library. It says, would you really like to remove the flash from library? Click yes. Would you like to delete the selected files? Click yes. Okay. So when it asks you when you if you want to delete the selected file, just click yes because it'll still be there but it won't be shown right here on your library. Alright. And here we have our movies. So whatever movies you put in your library, it'll be here. So like I said, this build is heavy. You know, I got all the animations and the add-ons that's in here. All right, here we have our movie section. When you go in that, it'll take you to the metallic add-on. And the metallic add-on works with the... um. With the movie database add-on. 
the extended info mod. All right, you could either play your movie straight from here. It brings up this list. Okay, <clears throat> and you could just click on it, and um, you're good to go. In the sub menu, we have Zen movies. Bubble Movies, Elysium Movies, Exodus Movies, 4K Movies, More 4K Movies, Spectral Movies, Salts Movies, UK Turks Movies, and Falcon Movies. And in the widget, we have the, um, the movie database most popular. Here we have our shows. In the widget, we have um, popular shows. In the sub menu, we have Zen shows, Bubble shows, Elysium shows, Exodus shows, Specto shows, Salt shows, and UK Turk shows. Next, we have our Disney section. In the widget, we have the family movies. When you click on the Disney section, it'll take you to the um, Real Movies add-on. In the sub-menu, we have Kids Movies. Alright. Now, due to the lack of you know, a lot of live IPTV add-ons going down. Some of them not working. I still have ESPN here. You know, <clears throat> ESPN is not going to stop working. So, um, if you have an account, if you have a direct TV or any account, you can authenticate it with your provider, with the um, provider. But what I do is I go to Android TV. And I will go to more live and replay. And I will go to the latest game. As you can see the soccer game. NBA Finals post game. Alright. We have our live TV section. And um, just like I showed you in my other videos, I go to World TV 3. Those links work great for me. And you have a huge list. I think you even have some sports in here, some sports channels. Yeah, you can watch your sports on here if it's available. And here we have our music section. Unfortunately, the MP3 streams is not working for some reason. I don't know why, but I had to take that out. You know, that's one of the other add-ons I really like, but I had to take that out. So um, in the widget, we have Django. In the sub-menu, we have Django. You music and karma. And um, let's go into the music. Okay. And here we have our apps. Straight shortcut to your music add-ons. Shortcut to your video add-ons. And these are the video add-ons we have in here.
So it's usually a quite a few for the builds I make. I usually don't put so many add-ons in my builds, but a couple of users wanted like a heavy build. So I decided to make one. It's your add-on browser that will take you to your section for you to install from zip file. Your program add-ons. There's also um, a cleaners in here. You have the Merlin Auto Cleaner that's already set, and um, you have the Thumbnail Cleaner. You know to keep your device running fast and smooth. Let me show you the Thumbnail Cleaner if you don't know. As you can see, you got 500 files and you know 72 megabytes just from when I just put the device on. Um, excuse me, not the device when I put Cody on so you can just clean it let me do it now okay, usually I would do like a, um, a reboot of Cody but I'm going to just keep going so once that list comes up I go to proceed As you can see, it cleared so many files, and it recovered 45.5 megabytes. Right now, here exit. All right. Here's our system settings in the submenu. That's where you'll find your file manager and our power button for you to quit your coding all right so let me show you how to install you would want to go to your program let me, matter of fact let me switch to the default skin so I could thoroughly show you how to install the build all right you will want to go to your Aries wizard the link to put in the source will be in the description all right you're going to Aries wizard okay you'll go to more you go down and you go to erase all data fresh start Alright, then you would go down and force close Cody. Now, I always take an extra measure to force close it on my shield. I go to my, my apps. I'll scroll down to Cody. As you see, I don't know if it's still running, but it says full close on here. So I just hit it. See, once I hit it, that first close um, selection is gone. So now I open it. I'll go to add-ons. Now, if your um your Aries Wizard isn't there, there's no need to put it put the source back in. You just go to add-ons, and then you'll go to my add-ons. Go to program add-ons. Select the Aries wizard, enable it, and then open it. All 
right so what you want to do now is you go to browse builds and you scroll down till you see Steven right here click on it and the media build will be in here okay I haven't uploaded it yet as you it's, uh, it'll be up before this video goes up so these are the builds I have in here right now there's 12 builds but in my wizard there's more than 12 but most of them is old with the uh, add-ons not working You know, I started out. I started out trying to update the um the artsy build, but I ended up making a whole new build. I got sidetracked and just end up making a whole new build. This is my latest build. Now let's say um the media build will be up here. What you'll do is, for example, if this is the media build, you'll click on it. Then it shift over to install, hit install, and hit proceed. I know some of you guys probably, you know, um, hit the fresh start button in this side of the menu and don't restart your coding. No, I think it's best if you, once you do a fresh start from here, you foreclose Cody and then come back and then um, download and install your build. Because I had problems also, just fresh start and then install the build. Looks like my internet is acting up. Right. Sometimes what I usually do is if the internet speed is too slow it's probably the wizard, I'm not sure, but if the internet speed is too slow, I hit the cancel button and then start it again. Sometimes it gives me a stronger connection. <clears throat> and also guys I thank you for watching my videos you know and um, thank you for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate it you know I try my best to make builds for for everyone you know that's why I throw so many up there you know so you'll have a lot of options to choose from no, I really appreciate it. And also, guys, my, um, the link for my wizard, Steven Wizard, will also be in the description. So um, that's another way of downloading my build. And uh, most of these builds I'm going to update. But I'm um, like the older ones. You know, the older ones probably I'm not, sh you know, I'm not too sure about. But most of them I am going to update. Yo,
almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, and one more thing. I'm planning on making a, a build, a, a small, small build for like a fire stick, like a real small build. So um, you can look forward to that one. You know, it's not going to have as many add-ons as, you know, this build, but it'll it'll have the 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 good the, the good add-ons that you know that started to come back it'll have those add-ons that will last a while you know i still include zen in my bills because it's still working you know i'm gonna still have it then until it goes out And also, if after you um, install any build, it's good to, uh, like, you know, let it settle and once you start it up, let it settle and let it do its thing in the background. You know, because if you start moving around some more, you get that lag and, you know, sometimes even on a powerful device, like on my shield, you know, sometimes, like any build, I download on it. Not just mine, like any build, it, it 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 stops. You know, it closes the Kodiak. You know, it closes the Kodiak, and then I'll have to go right back into it. Almost there. But well, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to install from the Aries Wizard. And also, I'm trying to learn how to, um, I don't know how they do it, but when they say you could, you know, send automatic updates, you know, you could check for updates on here and it'll just update the build that you're on. I like this build right here, the cinema build. I think it's my favorite build, the cinema build. Few, few more seconds. But I actually think this is taking longer than normal. I'm not sure. Alright, so I think now we wait for that message to pop up. 
you just don't want to just get out of here and then, you know, just, I, I don't know if it's doing something in the background. So there we go, it says, do you want to back up your skin and profile? You hit no. Thanks for using Aries Wizard, the free yada yada note. Cody needs to be closed, you hit okay. Now, so this, this is where I um, last left off from. See, I foreclosed it, but nothing happened. And the date is only 151. See, that's why I take the only, the, you know, extra step. Like I said, God, just after the bill loads up, you know, just give it a few to settle down and let it do its thing before, you know, you decide to play with it already. You know, and um, the build that I'm uploading, the media build, the, um, that build has an auto cleaner in it also, like I, like how I just showed you so that'll be good for you all right guys thank you for watching and I'm um, sorry about this long video I wasn't expecting it for, to take that long but I'm um, give this video a thumbs up and if you know please subscribe